Hello everyone, Fanta here. You're watching Fantavision. Now, I reported on the whole Bayonetta situation and how the voice actress was offered $4,000 for the entire game. It was Helena Taylor. She had a viral Twitter video go up. Over 5, 6 million, maybe even 7 million people have watched those videos by now where she goes over how she was really just low-balled and wasn't offered the amount of money that she felt that she deserved for reprising the role as Bayonetta in the third game. Well, the story has now changed as Jason Schreier has come out and said that he has multiple sources that know about this deal, and that isn't quite correct. According to Jason Schreier, Platinum offered Helena Taylor between three to $4,000 per session for at least five sessions, according to two people familiar with the deal and documentation viewed by Bloomberg. In response, the people said Taylor asked for a six-figure fee and residuals negotiations fell apart. That would mean that if this is all true, Helena just told a bunch of lies. Now, there's some speculation online that maybe the translation was weird, so it seemed like to her it was only 4000 for the whole game, but that doesn't make any sense. It's a multi-million dollar company. They're not going to make that big of a mistake with a translation issue. And the fact that we're talking about six-figure sums being requested by Helena Taylor, and that is in documentation that several sources at Bloomberg, which is a trusted source as well, has seen, means that everybody is in the wrong here. Because I mean, if you think about it, doing a full game, like it's still like 20K, not a lot of money, considering they are the main character of the game, and still, that's a lot of voice talent that you're bringing to the table. I mean, you have this character that you've helped make iconic. It makes sense that somebody would want more money. Now, I don't know what they were paid in the previous titles. Apparently, they were paid less on the previous titles than what they were being offered then. So, they were paid less than $20,000 to do the previous titles of this franchise, which is crazy, again, because this is a multi- million dollar franchise that has sold what like three million copies so the fact that they've sold this many games they've made this much money and she's only being offered like 20k that's still yeah that's a low ball but like don't helena don't lie about it why would you do that why would you basically ruin your career by going online and saying something that's completely untrue now i was wrong for just taking that one side of the story. I'm gonna be right out here and admit it, that's my bad. I should have waited for the full story, but at the same time, we hear companies doing terrible things all the time. Forgive me if I don't see another video game company being reported to doing something bad and not being shocked and reporting it because that's what happens on a weekly basis, it seems. For example, Microsoft just laid off a thousand people. This is business, okay? Businesses do everything in their power to cut money. So when somebody is out basically putting their career on the line, breaking NDAs and saying that they're only getting paid $4,000 for an entire game, I'm gonna believe it because that is what companies do. That is what they have trained me to think that that is what they are going to do to save a buck. So it's strange to have somebody put out their entire career on the line for a lie. I mean, if they were doing it to show like this is the inner workings of the company, they're being a whistleblower, they're showing what's going on and why they're a terrible company and why you shouldn't support them, like that's the normal thing that's been going on in the games industry. So seeing something come out and it's just not true doesn't make any sense. Like what did she hope to gain? If there are multiple people involved in this situation, which uh, they're going to be because this is again, a massive negotiation that you're gonna have with multiple different people because you are going to be the main character of the video game. And again, this is a multi-million dollar company. This is not some indie game studio. Then there is going to be a paper trail and there are going to be multiple people that can then talk about what exactly happened. So if you're making things up, why? Why would you do that? And Taylor is still denying and saying that this is a lie. So I'm just, oh, what is, what is happening? 
what is happening in the situation. Jason Schreier has done so much great journalistic work and he has helped expose so many different things in the game industry. So I don't see him going out of his way to shill for Platinum Games. I don't see him going out of his way to undermine somebody really trying to reveal what's going on. So I have to again report this and this is what we know so far. We know that there are multiple people in sources and apparently Bloomberg has viewed documentation has shown that what Helena Taylor said is not true and that it was actually three to four thousand per session and that she asked for a lot of money and residuals and then that didn't work out. That is what we know so far. And I guess like everybody is in the wrong still. Like I just I I don't know how this story can really evolve any further. I mean, she's just going to keep saying whatever she's going to say. I don't know if she's ever going to admit whether or not she was lying. And we kind of just have to take Bloomberg, Jason Schreier, and whoever the two people familiar with the deal had to say about it. It's kind of a he said, she said moment, but it does seem like it is leaning heavily towards Platinum Games in this circumstance. Also, it was weird that Taylor called out Jennifer Hale, who is now the voice actor for Bayonetta and Bayonetta 3. That wasn't the move. Normally, when you're calling out a company for being shitty, you don't want to drag other people into the situation that aren't really involved with the terrible negotiations. Like, yeah, she took the voice actor job, but that doesn't mean she took whatever terrible pay thing or supports whatever terrible pay thing was offered to you. She wasn't really a part of the situation. It's not like there was this massive protest and she's some sort of scab that is going against the grain and undermining any sort of cause. It was more like the negotiations didn't work out, so somebody else took the position. You know, it's like if I were to go get a job, they offer me a certain amount of money, I said no, they said, oh, okay, well, sorry it didn't work out. And they get they hire somebody else. And then I just put that other person on blast because they got that job that I declined. It doesn't make any sense. So it was weird that she incorporated her in. I always felt that was kind of weird. But it was so quick. And I was like, ah, whatever. You know, I'm not going to attack this person. But of course, I didn't think that, oh, people online are really dumb. And they're just going to go and attack somebody for zero freaking reason. Even though, like I just said, you know that this person's not involved in the situation. And has nothing to do with whatever Taylor was offered. Like, it, <laughs> getting mad at Jennifer Hale just does not make sense. So I just didn't even factor that in in my original video. Because... It was so quick and I was like, okay, whatever, you know, that's the new person that got the job, all right. But no, people online, of course, are gonna take that to the extreme and they attack Jennifer Hale. Also, people were attacking Dreamcast guy and I'm sure other people online as well, giving death threats just over giving an opinion on a current situation with the facts that we knew at the time or I guess information that we knew at the time since she just came out and lied to everybody, lied to 7 million people. And again, that's not something that normally happens. We don't normally have somebody put their entire career, their entire life on the line, their entire well-being. Because think about it. What did Taylor have to gain from this situation by lying? Like, it didn't seem like there was any sort of gain really for her at all. Because even if she was telling the truth, by breaking the NDA and talking about what's going on in dealings with a company, you are going to be blacklisted by so many other companies. You're not going to be getting another voice actor role. And yet, now it's a lie. Like, she do all that and it's a lie. So now she is guaranteed that she'll never get a job in the game industry anywhere, ever again. And that, that just, it, it doesn't make sense to me at all why a person would do that. So... I just believed what she said because it didn't seem like she had anything to gain by lying. And I still don't understand the mindset that she had when she made those videos. I really don't. So let me know what you guys think about the situation down below in the comments. Let me know if you think there's going to be any more to the story or you think this is it. This is the end. Of course, like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you, everybody.